London 2008. Sean Henry's first show in the capital for four years, coinciding with the publication of a major new monograph of his work. The Osborne Samuel Gallery in Berkeley Square has been representing Henry's work for nearly a decade. And this show offers the visitor a stunningly diverse range of scale, colour and realism, with the artist introducing a new layer of theatricality to his sculpture. Well, this is basically the culmination of Sean's recent work. Uh, he's done a lot of exciting projects, more so than probably ever before, and so we've waited an extra year to have this show, to catch them all together, and of course to produce a new book, which is targeted since the last exhibition, culminated with Standard Chartered Bank project and with the New Begin project, and there's enough exciting work out there for people to want to use it as a kind of marker point in Sean's career. This is the, uh, the newest piece in the show. It's a one to eight scale replica of a building that I've designed for the Schringer Museum of Realist Art in Northern Holland. And within it are two sculptures of the same man at a different moments. So he's obviously asleep in bed and he's standing behind a, a desk. When it's complete, people will be able to walk into the space, perhaps sit on the bed, Certainly, I hope, sit on the chair. And this large opening here will be open to the weather so that the rain will be able to come in, not directly, but it'll rain and leaves will blow in and out of the, the space. I see it in the broadest terms as a sculptural triptych. So this faces towards the garden when you come out of the museum. And uh, this interior, this is, I think of this as an interior wall with a picture, picture frame with space is what, what you see on the right hand side and then the, the transparent um, floating chair and the sea are in the centre of the piece and then the narrative focuses back on the man who's asleep with a drawing behind him. The, the chair is uh, going to be clear cast resin so it'll appear like glass and uh, will be suspended from the ceiling. It's obviously a, an, uh, a replica of the other chair in the space. And I think it, it, it adds, I hope, a kind of dreamlike quality to the, to the environment and makes you know that you know, something inexplicable is happening, which I felt was important. This is the standing figure that will go within the, in the window of Folly and uh, with an approximate approximation of the background. I'm interested in that play between the two surfaces and this exhibition gave me an opportunity to, to show figures in relationships, you know, in relation to the, the, the coloured scheme behind. It's three-dimensional sculpture, but it's more than that. It's something you can actually walk into and enjoy and experience. And so that Schrodinger model is actually probably the most important thing in the show. So this work is another very new figure, um, which I've called John Standing, and uh, again based on a real person. I mean, it's not. I've given his name in the title, which is a kind of an unusual thing to do. But I, he's such a specific personality and such a specific person. I felt it could take it. He's very unlike any other figure that I've. I, I normally sculpt people that I know or have met, or I didn't. I don't know him. It's uncanny because there's some figures, very big figures in the show. And actually, I think he's probably the most, uh, has the biggest presence out of any of them. And he's only 31 inches high, I'm not quite sure why, but I think it's to do with John, not me. I think it's him and his, his nature. I was, I was very lucky to meet him. All Sean's work is an extension of himself. His, his figures are Mr. Everyman and do suggest the sort of mysteries of life, those queries, the chap who's missed the last bus, the person looking slightly over the horizon thinking what might be there. And one sees Sean through them, and that's what I like. And even when he takes a different model, and he has done three, four different models for this show, you still see Sean through the eyes of the people that he's modeling. Three identical heads, they're the, the same clay head painted in different ways. I met this particular man, this model, who's a writer. Um, who lives very near my studio. He has a very interesting story, his life's very interesting, and I, and I because of 
things that have happened to him. There's a sort of the fragility of life and the fragility of the moment and the title Papillon Butterfly, Butterfly Collecting. Those things I wanted to kind of draw into the work and how we change as people moment to moment. You know, I'm, I'm related to my earlier self, but I'm not that person anymore. If you come around straight on, they look very pictorial. And then hopefully when you go around the work, you can see that they project into the space. So they're sort of playing with, are they sculptures, are they paintings? A male figure, however benign, at nine foot, has a physical presence you just can't avoid. And so I started looking for subject matter that might work at that, have a some level of humanity or vulnerability despite their scale. This sculpture was based on a, a woman in her early 20s, just started modelling, who I felt had a, had a particularly interesting look. The piece is called uh, Woman Being Looked At. And there was that sense, I think, maybe I imagined it, but I, I felt there was this uh, awareness of her role as a model and perhaps not a not entirely 100% comfortable with that, whatever. She, she seemed like the right person, and uh, she's only this, this big, so it's one and a half times her, her height, and uh, in painted bronze. It's not easy to show Sean's work in a relatively small space. A lot, the larger pieces, like this, really do need room to breathe, but I think um, it can also have quite a disorientating effect because you're encountering objects in different scales and so you're continually having to readjust your presence. I think the real power of Sean's work is the effect it has on your body and the way you feel in your own body, how you have to adjust yourself to the figure as you approach it. His work really is about the viewing of sculpture. He wants you to think about the nature of the viewing experience and I think this show does that brilliantly with some new heads, some very much a departure for him, some of his larger scale figures and then some of these smaller scale figures that are very new and really inspired. Sean is cutting new ground in terms of coloured sculpture. It's a damn good show, it's a very good installation, it deserves to be seen. It's always been a very um, difficult area for any sculptor to embark on. Sean in some way has reinvigorated that and cut a new path for the future.